Welcome, my name is Amanda Day and today I'm going to show you how you can do a self massage using two tennis balls. If you only have one, that's sufficient enough, you can use just one. We have um, a type of tissue called myofascia that, um, or, you, or it's called connective tissue, that wraps around all our muscles, all our bones, around our organs and it does just that, it connects the body. Um, it reacts to our emotions, um, it reacts to our thought patterns and can tighten. So when we're doing yoga, we're actually stretching out the connective tissue and releasing the muscles. We have um, different lines of um, connective tissue that connects the crown of the head all the way down the body, down the, the sides of the spine, all the way down the legs, all the way down to the bottom of our feet. This is one a couple of lines of um, myofascia connective tissue. And we're going to work on that today because sometimes this can get, um, we get like lower back pain or you might have shoulder tightness um, or headaches. This will help to relieve all that. So we're going to start with the feet. Um, you just take a tennis ball, it's very simple. Place it down onto a surface and then you place your foot and you just roll the foot out. This will also help if you've got tight hamstrings to create a little bit more length in that back line into that myofascia, myofascia line. It feels really good, especially being stood on your feet all day. This is actually it, also called trigger point therapy. And um, a lot of dancers use tennis balls to do self-massage and then do just do the other foot same thing back and forth for as long as you like you can keep alternating and just know you can work on um, the all the parts of the body separately you don't have to do the whole sequence okay so now we're gonna come down to sit down onto your bottom just know if, it, if the surface is a little bit um, too hard for you, if the balls feel like they're pushing into your body a little bit too hard, you can get softer balls or you can put a couple of blankets down which will give a little bit more give. But for now, we're just gonna use our hands. You're gonna start at the lower part of the calf and you're just gonna squeeze up the back of the leg. This should feel good. So it's almost like you're making dough. And then move to the hamstrings, just squeezing up and down the hamstrings, just bring circulation into the legs as well. And then do the other side so you're nice and even, starting at the lower calf, working your way up. And then into the hamstring, If you find yourself breathing deeply, that's a good sign. That means you're releasing something there. Now I'll do this leg first so you can see, but we're going to place the ball. If you find the sit bone, the sit bone is the bone that you actually sit on. You should be able to feel that. And then there's an a attachment, a ligament that goes into the top of the hamstring. You're gonna place it just in front of the sit bone. This is great if you've got tight hamstrings. You're gonna then start to straighten through that leg where the ball is. Now you don't feel that much. You can slide the flesh of the sit bones back and then start to lean forward. I like to keep the other leg bent. And you're just putting pressure. You're not having to move the ball in any way. This just creates a little bit more length in the back line of that leg. 
and then change size. You might find a dramatic difference from one side to the other. Again, just in front of the sit bone, the connection at the top of the hamstring. Straighten through the right leg. And then start to lean forward. This will be super, super intense if your hamstrings are tight. And then release. Now we're going to come down and we're going to do a cross the sides of the bottom, which is not necessarily um, the back line of the body there, but it can create lower back tension or pain. So we're just going to relieve these, this piriformis muscle, the um, gluteus maximus muscle. So you place the ball just below the ridge of the pelvis where you'll feel like the fleshy part of the bottom, like the top kind of fleshy part of the bottom. You never put the balls on, um, on bone. That's going to feel awful. And then you just put the weight down. And then you can roll a little bit more to the side, allow, allowing the ball to roll to the side. I hope you can see that there. You'll find tender spots. And then rolling a little bit more to the side. All the way to the hip point. And then here, just by pressing your feet down, you can actually roll, which feels great. Side to side. Just allowing the ball to massage from the, the tailbone towards the hip bone. And then change sides. Okay, never pressing on bone. You can control how much weight you put down into the ball. When this muscle gets tight, it can push down onto the um, onto the nerve there, the sciatic nerve, um, creating um, sciatica, like a nervy pain that runs down the back of the leg. But do consult with the doctor if you have any of those sensations before you do any of this just to check and then again you keep moving yourself a little bit more over onto your side it's still going across the bottom cheek on the right side until you almost come onto your right side there towards the right hip point And then rolling. I always like to do this at the end of a yoga practice. Feels really good before you come into Shavasana. Now we're gonna take two balls. If you don't have two balls, you can just do one at a time. And place the two balls, not on the spine, but to the side of the spine in the lower back. Just above now the, the hip crest there. And you simply just put the weight down. Now because you've got the lumbar curve there, some of you might not feel anything. So if you want to go a little deeper, you can bring one knee in to the chest. And all you're doing, not moving around, just the weight onto the balls. And then change leg. You don't have to bend the knees in. And then we slide the balls up a little higher. And weight down. You can draw the knees in again. 
doing one knee at a time. And then taking them up a little higher into the middle back. If it's ever too intense to you, you can always skip an area. Just breathe in. Now we're gonna go between the shoulder blades. So I like to do one ball at a time here, but you can do two balls. If you find it's hard to get this flexibility here, you can always put the ball and then kind of move your body onto the ball. Just to the left side of the spine there, in between the shoulder blade, there's the rhomboids. Also, you can move the arms. And then going a little higher. And you're just working up the sides of the spine. Ooh. Breathe deeply into that point. Roll down. And then do in the other shoulder blade. So just on the inside of the shoulder blade on the posterior muscle. Find one point, the lower part of the shoulder blade there. Just to the side of the spine. Now we're on the right side. Okay, you can move your arm around. And that will just create different sensations. Rolling down, taking the ball a little higher. Take the balls to the occiput. It's where the the top of the spine meets the the um, the skull. It's kind of like a nervy point there, like a shiatsu point. And especially if you have a headache, a tension headache, this is so great. It's going to feel so good to you. You find a tender point, and then you just again place the weight down using one or both balls. I find using one ball, it's a little bit more intense and feels better to me. You can do the other side if you're not doing, doing one side at a time. If you can't find it, just keep moving around that area, the uh, bottom of the skull to the spine. Then sitting yourself up. So then we're just gonna massage the hair. So you can use your own hands and just rub the top of your head, squeeze the back of the head. You can take your eyebrows and kind of pinch across the brow line.
If you have a headache, if you feel across the brow line, you'll feel like two little indentations on either brow um, towards the center of the brow. If you can find that, you can use your thumbs and then lean your head into that point. This is really great for getting rid of headaches. Um, eye tension. Um, any sinus issues. And then just pinch again across the eyebrows just to spread the energy out there. Then cross your arms, hold into your shoulders, squeeze opposite shoulder, down to the biceps, down the forearms. You can interlace your fingers, press your palms forward and change sides. And that ends our own little massage here. Have a wonderful day. My name's Amanda D. Namaste.